SummerSlam is in a couple of days and we have four main events. I don't know how that's possible, but let's get on to my predictions for the show. Let's start off with the World Heavyweight Championship title match between Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. This is a match seven years in the making. It's a SummerSlam rematch. The last time they fought, Seth Rollins accidentally injured Finn Balor. And even though Balor won that match, he suffered a serious injury that ruined his first World Championship run. It was his only World Championship run on the roster. Therefore, this is a very serious match. It means everything to Finn Balor. This is what the entire story has been built around. With that being said, I believe that Finn Balor is going to do it and get the job done. He's going to defeat Seth Rollins and become the world's heavyweight champion. This will add so much more to the drama in the Judgment Day because his friend is Senor Money in the Bank. WWE could even have Damian Priest turn on Balor and take the World Championship from him at SummerSlam. That is actually how I would have booked it if it was me, but I don't think the WWE is going to do it that quickly. It seems like this is a storyline that's going to be dragged out and play out for at least a few more months. The next match we'll talk about is the IC title match. Gunther defends his championship against Drew McIntyre. This is a big time match. The Intercontinental Championship has returned to its glory days. This is a tough match to predict because Gunther is very close to breaking the record for the longest reign in the title's existence. But at the same time, Drew McIntyre just returned and the dude has not done a meaningful thing since losing his WWE Championship to Bobby Lashley in 2021. This is tough because it could go either way. I'm going to say that Drew McIntyre wins this match. I believe that his booking is more important than breaking a record. But if the WWE really wants to, you know, break that record, they could go ahead with a double count out or maybe a double, you know, disqualification, something like that. That leads to a last man standing match at Payback and that could be where Drew wins because, you know, the record would be broken and Drew wins his championship. I don't know. That's just an idea, but I'd rather see Drew win at SummerSlam. Shayna Baszler takes on Ronda Rousey in an MMA rules match. What does that mean? I don't necessarily know. If I had to guess, they can only win by knockout or submission. And since these two legitimately fought, this match is going to look like a real slobber knocker. We all know who's winning. It's going to be Shayna Baszler. This is reportedly Ronda's last match. And I think she's going to want to put over her longtime friend before leaving. I'm not going to lie. I didn't care about this feud at all or this match too much until the last episode of Monday Night Raw. That is when they had their sit down interview and things got personal. It made me so excited for the match on Saturday. I'm not even rooting for anyone at this point because the story feels like these two just misunderstand each other to the point where it's sad to see it go down. And that is what makes it a powerful story. It might be time for Shayna Baszler to finally get that push after this win that we thought she was going to get years ago because now Triple H is in charge. Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes are set to have their third and final match. Cody Rhodes won the first time, then Brock won the second match, and now it is time for the rubber match at SummerSlam. I'm extremely disappointed that this match didn't get a stipulation. We've already seen this match twice. I can't understand why WWE didn't make this a bull rope match or something like that. Literally anything else would have been a good idea. I don't see how they can have another match that's any different from these first two matches that they had, but you never know. Anyway, I don't know. The entire point of a long feud is to add new elements of storytelling. They've got to spice it up. This is going to be a pointless match if it's the same match as before. It literally does nothing for the audience. Anyways, I'm done ranting about this match. Cody Rhodes is going to win, and then we can move on from this feud and do other things with Cody. I think Bray's also going to return and attack him if I had to guess. Logan Paul and Ricochet are going to battle it out. The rivalry started at the Royal Rumble and when they had that spot that sounded like a car crash and then it continued at Money in the Bank when the two botched and Logan Paul nearly got wasted. It's a pretty simple feud. This doesn't really need to be anything too complex, honestly. It's just these two stars getting in that ring and giving us a banger of a match. This is going to be a spot fest. 
but it's going to be in a good way. The feud has been good for both men. It gave Ricochet something important to do. And Logan Paul is a big star in the world. And there's been a lot of eyes on Ricochet because of it. And you also have the crowd who hates Logan Paul. So as a result of hating Logan Paul, they've been cheering for Ricochet and he's been getting loud reactions. On the other hand, this gives Logan Paul a much needed win. The social media star has been racking up a lot of losses since debuting in 2022. So he needs this win. He's most likely going to get it. That is my prediction. And I think that is the right call. Asuka will be defending her women's championship in a triple threat match with Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair. I'm looking forward to this match because I think all the ladies involved are very talented. Charlotte is still one of the best to do it. Bianca Belair is coming off of one of the best women championship reigns. And Asuka, she's always special in that ring, especially when she's got the right talent around her. With all that being said, this is hard to predict as well, because I could legitimately see any three of these ladies walk out as champion. Even Io Sky could walk out as champion if she decides to cash in. But when in doubt, you gotta pick Charlotte Flair because she always wins when she comes back. Therefore, that is my choice. I could also see WWE planting the seeds for a WrestleMania 40 match between Charlotte and Bianca Belair. Therefore, I think Charlotte's gonna win and then Bianca's gonna get the title back at WrestleMania 40. That's just my prediction. WWE also added a battle royal to the show on Saturday for one reason, and that reason is so that LA Knight could be on the show and get that victory. The company is starting to realize how much money they can make with him, and so I think he's finally getting that push. It's at a slow rate. I wish it was faster, but you can't really do much about that. But if he doesn't win, I might throw up a little bit and cancel my Peacock subscription. I'm lying about that, but you know, that's what everyone else is going to say. So I might as well jump on the bandwagon. And the last match that we need to talk about is the main event of the show, Jey Uso versus Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship of the World in a Tribal Combat match. It's a fancier way of saying no holds barred. I'm not going to lie, Tribal Combat does indeed sound cooler. This is a storyline that's three years in the making. It started in 2020 and it's ending this Saturday at SummerSlam. This Bloodline storyline legitimately revived the WWE and all wrestling. Everybody is excited for this match. Jey Uso even has an opportunity to win the belt. Is it going to happen though? I say no. I can't see WWE giving him that title. I'm going to say that Roman Reigns will retain. However, after the match, I think that The Rock is legitimately going to show up and confront Roman Reigns. The writers and the actors are on strike in Hollywood. The Rock has nothing else to do, so it's going to show up. I don't think it's going to lead to much, but I could see these two having a face-to-face -face on Saturday and get a lot of people talking. The WWE, they love to tease us. So while I don't see a match happening between these two, there's a possibility. And even if there's a small chance, the WWE is going to take that chance, make us believe for some clicks and engagements. But anyways, those are my predictions. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.